What's going on everyone? I got a brand new movie review for you today and today I'm discussing Robert Zemeckis' new film, Welcome to Marwin. Welcome to Marwin, of course, stars Steve Carell and Leslie Mann. And this is a very interesting true story. I don't necessarily know how much is actually true about this, but from the trailers, the visual effects itself had me on board. It kind of had a mix and a feel of small soldiers and Toy Story, all with taking place in the live action world. And of course, we know Robert Zemeckis is known to be able to toy around with these certain kind of elements. And we know that he's known to do different types of things when it comes to directing films. He has that unique director standpoint when it comes to it. Look at Back to the Future, it's that way. You look at one of his most notable recent films, The Walk, that was maybe not one of his best films, but it was uniquely directed. It made itself to be told in a unique style and way, and especially the way that film was shot. Same thing goes for Welcome to Marwin. Welcome to Marwin is a very uniquely shot film, and in fact, I liked Welcome to Marwin. There are some nice aspects to it, and there are some aspects that don't make it fully fledged to be out the film that it should have been you can easily recommend it due to the uniqueness of the film and a lot of that goes to what you can see in the trailers is with the toys in the way that they move the way that they look and the story that's being told throughout them the visual effects alone on these toys are of one of a kind and i walked out of this film saying i want another small soldiers if you don't know what small soldiers is go look it up with the visual effects in here, you can definitely do it. And I think this goes to step no boundaries of what you can do with visual effects nowadays with toys. They make them look so real. And it never at one point did it feel like jarring to me. And I have to admit, I even have to look at a lot of the visual effects in Ready Player One. I can feel like they kind of got the same animators for this film because the seamlessness between both the takes of the live action and the visual effects within the toys all look seamless. And it's never at one point jarring to me or like, oh, that's that's fake right there. No, I totally believed in what was going on. Sometimes it caught me off guard and even got me scared. I mean, it's it's talking toys. Like, that's kind of scary at times. No, the toys in this film are easily the best part of Welcome to Marwin. I can also say Steve Carell gives a amazing performance. Steve Carell is one of those actors that can just transform. This is one of the few roles, again, that he just transforms into this character. He was Michael Scott at one point. He was a crazy lunatic and fox catcher. He was a great dad and a heartbreaking dad and beautiful boy earlier. And this time he's a man who is dealing with a lot of PTSD in this film. And it, you don't see Steve Carell in this film. You, you see the character that he's portraying and from the first shot to the ending shot, I only believed that that was that character and not Steve Carell. From the mannerisms, the way that he moved, the emotion that he brought out to himself, you really do believe and care and start to get emotionally invested within his character. Now, when I go to that part, I have to say that I think I could have even gotten more emotionally enveloped within his character and everyone involved with the stories that... They never really go into any of the depth within the story. There's a lot of characters in here that they scatter around, and some of them, they plant seeds, but never go further into them. And Steve Carell is, again, one of those characters. He doesn't remember a lot what happened within his past. You'll figure out in the film why he doesn't. And as he tries to remember, and some of the elements do come back to him, they don't go into full detail. There are certain elements of the film that I do have my predictions about and some theories about that I don't necessarily want to put out there because I don't want to give away spoilers, but I do think that were certain elements that they should have touched on more and some depth that they should have gone into with some of the characters. There are a couple cringy moments in here where I was kind of easing in my seat going, ugh. And I don't get uncomfortable easily in films, but there are certain elements of this film where I was again a little bit uncomfortable and going, ugh. I don't think the story should have gone there. Maybe it's a part of the true story. I don't know. I just feel like there were certain elements of the story that should have been tinkered with. And there are some nods to Robert Zemeckis' past films that felt a little bit too on the head. Don't get me wrong. I, I kind of enjoyed them and I laughed. But I think do some people will have issues with them. And I have to at least put it out there. Before I get to my final thoughts though, guys. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this film. Have you seen it? Have you not? Are you looking forward to it? Let's talk about it down below. Plus, you guys can hit that like and subscribe button. And also check out Sandwich on Films down below. Where you guys can get into advanced movie screens. And even check out some movie news. And even some movie reviews over there. But for my final thoughts on this film. Welcome to Marwin. Again, is an easy film to recommend. Just due to the uniqueness of the visual effects and the story that it is telling. 
Yes, it can get a little bit uncomfortable and cringy at some parts, but with a fantastic performance from Steve Carell and really good performances overall from everyone involved, it makes it an entertaining watch and you do get emotionally invested into the character. It teaches a nice little story and honestly portrayed beautiful art that I do want to go into this new, now knowing about the true story and go into this new artist that I've now witnessed with on the big screen. It's definitely a unique film to that and I think Robert Zemeckis hit it on the head with that. I don't think this film will be for everyone, but I think it will find its nice little following in there. And again, please, please, please give me a small soldier sequel now with these visual effects. With all that said, I'm going to give Welcome to Marwin a B minus. Know what your guys' thoughts are on Welcome to Marwin. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let's talk about it again down below. And if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to do that. Plus, comment down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. And until next time, stay classy. We'll